I've got the SOX proxy up and running in my environment. Let me show you that quickly. This is the SOX proxy starter task. We've got a few of them running on our system, uh, but it, it's running and it is already configured to uh, trap some jobs and convert them from FTP to SFTP. So what I would like to do is now show you the vendor solution with VFTP. I've logged on to VFTP. This is the user interface. It gives you complete visibility on all of your FTPs. With our VFTP client in play, you can see the context of FTP transfers. You can see now I've said for the last eight hours, show me all of the FTPs of all of the agents that's reporting to the server. There you can see there's some using FTP to SFTP conversion bulk of them using unsecured and some using SSH. By clicking on those numerics, I can go and view each of those FTP transfers and view them independently and also see the session log for it. Okay, so what I want to do is to show you how the product works. I'm going to click on the configuration tab. Let's go to the client. And now I've got, in fact, we've got a bunch of different rules that do, you know, various different tasks. I'm going to select one called FTP SFTP3, and that is enforced only on an ALPA called SDS1 or an agent called SDS1. It's set up for a job name, so this is the filter rule. It's set up for any batch job that matches ZFTP job star, so it could be job one through to nine or ABC, whatever, anything that matches this filter rule. VFTP will intercept that FTP and it'll route it to the SOX proxy and the proxy will then convert it to SFTP. You do not have to make any changes to your JCL, and I'll show you that in a second or two again. I can now go and submit this batch job, and let's go and have a look. So I'm gonna switch back to TSO, and go to, there's a batch job, ZFTP job. As you can see, it is regular FTP command syntax, doing a CD, doing a binary transfer, and then doing a put of a file. So let's run this particular batch job, um and let let's swap let's go back to stsf and let's do a prefix of zf let's go and examine the contents of this looks like it's already ended and let me go back down and just point out some of this information it's a very small batch job so ran very quickly there you can see the job name zftp job and it's applying the rule that i set up on my vftp client so you remember i pointed that out to you and without me having to do anything, the proxy got in, uh, without me having to make any changes to my JCL, the proxy got involved, the proxy converted the batch job or this, the FTP to SFTP, and I didn't have to make any changes to my existing batch job. So that's the beauty of the solution. As I mentioned earlier, if you have a big investment in FTP, this is probably a solution that you want to consider. And then lastly, just to show you, Let's go and get some information perhaps for the last 30 minutes and let it get button. All of this information can now be viewed on the UI and there's my user ID. Let's get the, the log, uh, log data. So suddenly you saw this on STSF, but this is because our VFTP client is in play. You can now view the context of this FTP transfer. So the exact same information you saw on uh, STSF. Okay, so that was a very quick demo. I know there's a lot of ground I covered there, uh, but certainly if you need more information, feel free to reach out to us and we can assist you with uh, providing you with more detail.